at the fridge. Pictures are coming in from your kitchens all around the country. Thank you, I'm here on the fridge uh, hot desk here. Uh, <laughs> Emil, uh, first of all, Emil, look at this. Uh, n this is a shameful, shameful thing. This is organised chaos, oh, apparently, Emil, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Personally, I can't tell the difference, but this is organised chaos. Uh, this is B. Ruth's very excited. Ruth, you're very, why are you very excited well, because here? because she's got lots of containers, lovely. But then she said, and some of my containers have wheels on them. And I'm like, I've got containers. Wheels, now. wheels she on said, the they've containers. They've got little wheels on the containers so she can wheel them out, have right. a little look, wheel them back in. Okay. Well, that's super. Well, that's the sort of thing that we're looking for. Good ideas and bad ideas. How I judge it by the smell. That's how I judge it. <gasps> but let, no, but that's if you smell, if it's bad, there's something wrong in that yes. fridge, right? Yeah, well, yeah. So Justine bad, Patterson, <laughs> she's the queen of Justine's freezers here. and fridges. Yeah. I am. I hope I am anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm back to talk to you today about fridge organisation. And it's something that I really get into because if you have a well organised fridge, you can save space and you can save money because not so much food gets wasted. Yes. You're not throwing it out. You don't get those food. I did have to have a fridge clear out recently because mm. some people why? in my household. Well, why, excuse me, <laughs> can I just say, why don't we have a new idea? Why don't we have a fridge clear in? Like, put stuff in it. <laughs> Would that not be a good idea? Would you like idea? to see my fridge? There's plenty oh, in it. OK, yeah, this is my yeah, fridge, like our fridge. See, I have There's things no like little baskets. Yeah, yeah, so little yeah, baskets, I and like that's that. a lemon holder in the middle yeah, there. Yeah, and yeah. so you can pull the baskets yeah. out, and that's all my yeah. jams, yeah. and then one's for cheese. Yes. Yeah. And then Eamon well, looks at that and love goes, a suck nothing that lemon. to eat in Yeah, that'd be lovely. And that's the door, so I have the milk in the door. So anyway, so I love an organised fridge, but you're going to tell us how I've got things in the right place. And not just that, but also containers. So here we have what I love using is actually glass containers. And the wonderful thing about glass containers, if you use them, they're sort of toughened glass. You can also put them in the microwave or in the oven straight from your fridge. Yeah. They are expensive, but they're a good investment. They can be expensive, but actually there's something you can get for maybe two or three pounds that have that toughening. But then you've got them for a long time. And you do. You can use them again and again, and of course they go in the freezer as well. And you can see what's in them. You can see what's in them, you can put your labels on. Yes. Um, also, a bit like you, I have this type of container to yeah. separate things. But if you don't want to, to spend on that, this is actually a container that had grapes in it, and that works just as well. OK, so see-through things. See-through things, things that pull out like that. Yeah, that's a good one. good, yeah. I've got some to show you a bit later. Fridge and, and freeze bins. Oh, that's is, yeah. nice. You'll see. And then ah. you've got something like this. Oh. Now, do you ever... Put Slide in and out. <laughs> That's nice. I need that in my life. Let's get the label. <laughs> so, do you ever put up, do you like roast chicken and then you put it straight in the fridge like that? I do. I'm guilty of that because I haven't got, I know what you're going to tell me is take the meat off I and put it in look, a thing. You can save so much space. You can pop that in and then it's there to use whenever you want it. And then it's and also, easy for sandwiches and stuff. Easy for you to come along, isn't yeah. it then? Well, it's a, Stir fries. Works done there. It's fantastic. <laughs> And then it saves using cling as well, if you can. Yes. This is uh, an idea that is absolutely amazing. What you can do is have these sort of rubberized lids as well that can go onto pots. And you put them on like that, and then they sit Hang in your fridge. Oh, we can't see any Sorry. of that. Right, OK. So that was... Oh, ooh, look. Yes, it's vacuum. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. So it's, is it silicon? Yes, it is. So you get all different sizes yeah, of these, and you just pop that on. But oh, it's, it's important when you put things in your freezer is to get it cold. So if you've cooked something like a bolognese like this, put it into something flat. And actually what I do is sit that in a cold tray of a cold sink mm. of water and let it really get nice and cold so I can get it in my fridge. Why, why is that? Why, if you, they say don't put anything warm, is that Yeah, bacteria? they do, because what happens is it heats the rest of the fridge and ideally you want to keep your fridge between sort of one, zero degrees and four or five degrees so it keeps food fresher for longer. OK. So that helps so cool, cool it down. Cool, warm food down. And then you can now, put it in something like that. this is my pet hate. Cans. Somebody in my house <laughs> who likes sweet corn <laughs> opens a tin of sweet corn, eats half of it and puts the tin in my beautifully organised fridge. Yes, <laughs> who's not, doing what, that? Not, what do you want me to do? Eat the whole tin of shouldn't sweet corn? shouldn't put tins in the fridge, should you? No, I mean, there are, you, you shouldn't really, but I think more or, more or less it's because actually they're difficult to seal. If you leave them in there for a long time, you will get tainted food tainted but love actually <laughs> tainted love is what you'll get if you keep doing that but these containers are good so you can put it in something like that and then these are amazing floppy mm. silicone lids that can go on top like that on, and then yeah. you can label it and you can reuse the lids and you can reuse yeah. the lids wash them and put them back on again so they're great i bought some so lids that you, look you like two them. seem to be more in love with the <laughs> packaging than the product <laughs> than no, the, no, than this the food. is important it's things to store it in then we're going to have yeah. a look inside the fridge aren't yeah. we to have uh, a look uh, what goes what, where. here yes. at the uh, the freezer uh, hotline again uh, yes. we go to georgia uh, Georgia has a picture of a fridge raider. If anyone could identify, oh, no. 
who that fridge raider is. <laughs> Apparently, they eat more than everyone else in the house. Uh, Laura says, my favourite part of my fridge is the cheese drawer. Cheese in the fridge. So, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. We're finished. <laughs> oh, you finished? Sorry, finished. we were just we're, talking. We're, we're talking fridges. Fridge. <laughs> we're in the fridge. Thank you for your We're pictures. in the fridge. That's right, we're in so, the fridge. I organise my fridge like this. Fridges can vary, and what it's brilliant to have is a fridge thermometer, and I really suggest you get a digital one mm -hmm. and try it out in different areas because you might find that actually that could be cooler mm. than, than that and you can vary things um, Are we all guilty of overstuffing the fridge? Definitely. And does it have an effect on it does, how things you are need cooled? You need the air to circulate around to keep things cool. Stuff it and you'll find you've got things freezing on the back or you've got things getting too warm at the front. Here is my... <gasps> Eat me first, fridge. Eat me first, <laughs> shelf. Look at that. So, when you have something like the corn, uh, the sweet mm. corn, you, what you can do is you put it in here. And this is everything that I've made. And if you put it in here, then you can take it out and eat it when it's ready. And it really helps. I don't know about you, when I go on holiday, the rest of the family are there. I come back and all the food I've left them to have when I'm away is right at the back. And they've just shoved a load of stuff in the mm. front because they don't know that that's ready to eat and they I'm can eat it. I'm loving your labelling. You've got a labelling machine. I've got one of these. Is that not what freezers are for? Well, yes, if you want to keep something for a couple of days, you made a bolognese on, on one day and you just want to have it the next. Remember that? And the roast chicken I just had here. And I've also got jars. So these are jars. If you want to do... I always put dates on my jars yeah. so that when it's open, something like this needs to be eaten within three days. I'll put here on the eat me first. Yes. Should jam be in the fridge? My wife has got 18 jam jars in the fridge. Is that...? I keep... Our fridges these days are much more warm. I'm sorry, our ovens... Our kitchens are much more warm. So what happens is that they can go mouldy and go off more quickly. Right, we've only got one minute. Okay. I just want to ask you, raw meat. Raw meat, right. I always so thought it was supposed to be on the bottom. Yes, because in the old days people might have a, a plate and they might put it on the plate that's come from the butchers. But these days, of course, it comes in packaging. So as long as your packaging is clean, and I usually give it a wipe before it goes in there, you've got a high-sided container like that. You know your fridge is, is sort of around zero to one. Yeah. You're absolutely fine to put it. Everything else is covered. Okay. So everything is covered in here. And the stuff below is in its drawers that pull out, we're talking about, so you can grab yeah. them easily. OK, well, listen, we're, we're going to put um, this online because yes. we know whenever we do these items with Justine, <laughs> everybody wants to know more about the labelling. <laughs> so we will do that for oh. now. Thank you very much.